Dissolution of the Personality in the After-Death States by Anna Kingsford and Edward Maitland Read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society This piece is an extract from the 1890 edition of The Perfect Way by Anna Kingsford and Edward Maitland. This book is based on a series of lectures delivered in London in 1881. Dissolution of the Personality in the After-Death States in dissolution, the consciousness speedily departs from the outermost and lower sphere, that of the physical body. In the shade, spectre or astral body, Hebrew nefesh, which is the lowest mode of soul, consciousness lingers a brief while before being finally dissipated. In the astral soul, anima bruta, the earth soul or ghost, Hebrew ruach, consciousness persists. It may for centuries, according to the strength of the lower will of the individual manifesting the distinctive characteristics of his outer personality. In the soul, Hebrew Neshama, the immediate receptacle of the divine spirit, the consciousness is everlasting as the soul herself. And while the ghost remains below in the astral sphere, the soul, obeying the same universal law of gravitation and affinity, detaches herself and mounts to the higher atmosphere suited to her. Unless, indeed, she be yet too gross to be capable of such aspiration, in which case she remains bound in her astral envelope as in a prison. This separability of principles is recognised in Homer, when Odysseus is made to save his interview with the shades. Then I perceived Heracles, but only in phantom, for he himself is with the gods.